Good evening, everybody, Masterstroke members and otherwise also. Welcome to the show of Masterstroke. I am Rajesh Talmia, and um, I hope all of you are doing well, keeping safe. May God bless all of us. Uh, today's webinar, we will discuss about how to handle second generation clients. Second generation clients means your current clients, once they get old and and they delegate the responsibility of managing the portfolio to their son or daughter, the next generation. And um, this is very interesting. I can talk about this because I have faced this. Over the last 20 years, many of my clients uh, are now into the retirement zone or growing their own business. And their team is growing, their children have joined the business and uh, they are now like, taking care of the portfolio. And uh, what are the challenges? I know how I have been handling them. I know. And so I thought I will talk about this. Uh, you see, I think the biggest risk in our business is not regulation, is not uh, direct, is not AMC. It's not the clients moving away to some other mutual fund distributor. It's it's not the markets, markets going up and down. It's not the debt crisis because all these things are temporary in nature. And if there, there are certain things uh, which are permanent in nature, you will adjust to those things and life will go on. In my opinion, one of the biggest risks in our business is when after 10, 15, 20 years, your client's portfolio is now being managed by the younger generation and they have taken over and they may not like you. They may not have the same wavelength with you, which you are currently enjoying with your existing clients. Uh, I think this is going to be a big challenge, especially those who are having a lot of older clients, 50, 55, 60. As, as part of state planning, as part of uh, handing over the assets of the family to the next generation, even the clients will hand over to their next generation to make them learn their portfolio. So even if they are in 50s and 55 and their children have completed their higher studies and at 24, 25, 27, they will start looking at the portfolio and they will ask you tough questions. And your clients will always support their children than you, most of them, because uh, they are okay to lose a little bit of money because of your advisory and uh, suggestions and support, but they will treat this as a cost to, to educate their children, to make them more experienced, to manage money. They will take it as an investment and they will give command to their children to manage the portfolio at your cost. So there will be challenges. And this business is about compounding. And so a client who is 20 lakhs today will grow to two crores and five crores after 10, 15 years. And at that point of time, if you're not able to hold the client and the second generation, your entire effort of 10, 15 years and compounding will go waste. So this is very Emotional issue, this very uh, uh, serious issue, which I want to talk about. So let us first understand about the next generation, new generation, what they want. They are more process oriented. You see, abhi aap kya kar rahe ho? Abhi client bana rahe ho, jaise bhi business aara hai, kar rahe hai, half hearted chal raha hai, koi system hai, nahi hai, relationship hai, phone kiya, client busy hai, aap kaam kar rahe ho, चल रही है चीजें रिटर्न आया नहीं आया कम हुआ बेसी हुआ चल रही है चीजें व्हेन द एंड द क्लाइंट इज नॉट हैविंग टाइम बट द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन विल हैव अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम अभी क्लाइंट रात को 10 बजे सो जाता है द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन इज अवेक टिल 2 एएम इन द मॉर्निंग एंड दे विल डू देयर रिसर्च एट 12 मिडनाइट व्हेन यू आर स्लीपिंग एंड दे विल लुक एट योर पोर्टफोलियो एट 12 मिडनाइट प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड एंड दे विल बी मोर प्रोसेस ओरिएंटेड दे विल बी टेक सैवी दे वांट अ रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन फ्रॉम यू दे वांट मोर कंप्लायंस they will like more value for money. Kitna return aara hai, direct me kyo nahi karein, aapke saath kyo karein. 
कंपाउंडिंग आधा परसेंट एक परसेंट से पंद्रह बीस साल में कितना फर्क हो जाता है आप कैसे वैल्यू एड कर रहे हैं दे विल लाइक अ मोर फॉर्मल अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड डिस्कशन विथ यू बिकॉज द रिलेशनशिप दैट यू एंजॉय विथ योर करेंट क्लाइंट विल नॉट बी द सेम विद नेक्स्ट जनरेशन बिकॉज दे आर नॉट इमोशनली कनेक्टेड विथ यू they haven't understood what value you have created over the last 10 years they will not understand you started with 5000 rupees sip with his father or her father or mother and now they are looking at a 5 crore portfolio or a 1 crore portfolio after 10 years and they will think you are making a lot of money they will not understand the hard work that you have put in the last 10 years they are not emotional about it so you will face all these questions and they want straight answers they want a professional relationship not uh uh not not the kind of relationship you currently have with the clients now they will they will know everything about grow and et money and paytm and direct and indirect and mf central and uh, uh direct companies website and they are quick they are really fast they understand things very well a 19 year old next generation person can handle the portfolio looking at the money controls and the various website about what is doing right what is not what is tracking error everything they know so the risk is coming but don't worry about it i will tell you how to handle this and uh, it's not something that that is coming now you have to prepare it for the next 3 years 5 years 10 years and 15 years especially those who have entered now so this is the risk wavelength match nahi hogi wo professional relationship chahenge aap personal relationship chahenge lekin wo personal relationship nahi chahenge aapke sath mein they are very hard core they will not like it that way how to handle let me give you a brief answer how to handle this situation please do write me in the chat box if i have set the context in the right way about the risk and what the next generation wants please write yes or no do you agree with me or you don't agree with me i need your help and support that i am on the right track okay wonderful let me tell you how to handle the next generation my first answer is start early the day you make your client whether that client is 30 year old or 50 year old from that day on focus on the next generation the next generation at that point of time maybe 2 years old or maybe 18 years old don't ignore them treat them as your potential client future client when i say start early and don't ignore them whenever you engage with the client and the son or daughter is sitting with them say hi to them ask their name what they are doing engage with them if the client if the next generation is not there with the parents in every meeting ask about how their kids are doing what they are doing kaun se grade mein padh rahe hain aage ka kya plan hai uh, engage with the discussion with the client so that they feel that they feel that you are concerned develop that bonding with the client because us bonding ke sath mein client agar instructions deta hai next generation ko you see mr brijesh is my uh, distributor and please stay with them then your job is done 50% 75% agar upar se control niche jata hai ki aapko isse kaam karna hai brijesh is a good guy then your job is done so by the time the next generation comes in you should know their history of last 15 years kaun se school mein gaye the kaun se college mein gaye the kya padhai ki unhone kya kya life mein hua hai unke sath mein you should know everything you should know their kind of date of birth and you should send them books on their birthdays i have been doing that for last 20 years you should send them cakes on their 18th birthday you should send them you know special messages on the 21st birthday start developing that connect the only weapon you have to handle the next generation is to try to be personal with the next generation so that they have that 25 50% emotional bonding with you that you are a good guy you are a professional guy and you care for them that's your best weapon so if you make any mistake or there is any lapses in uh, servicing or performance they will handle it uh, they will excuse you 50% of the time but not 100% this is the this is your best weapon so send them chocolate whenever you go to the client's place or office take some chocolates for if, if the kids are really small of 3 year 4 year or 5 year or something like that you decide whether you want to do this or not i'm just throwing some ideas to you uh so start early you know and over the 5 10 15 years that kid who knows nothing today he should have a feeling that you are the whole and so of the family in terms of financial matters give him that impression this is called nudging the next generation that i am the person you need to deal with and be professional personal is one part but be professional 
So 50% personal, 50% professional. If you lack professionalism, personal relationship will not work with the second generation. They are brutal. They are not emotional that much. Okay. This is one part. Now, they will like value for money. They will ask you if you have a portfolio of five crores of the client of the family and you are making two and a half lakhs, three lakh rupees as commission and you are meeting two times with the family, they will ask, why should you be paid three lakh rupees for managing five crores of portfolio for two meetings when index fund can do that at, 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 at such small a price? And you have to be willing to answer these questions, very difficult questions. They will not give you credit for the last 10, 15 years you have worked for the client, client's parents, 25% credit. The rest of all, it will become professional. So uh, engage with the next generation. That's the only uh, weapon you have. You know everything about them. Mm, take your practice to the next level of disclosure and transparency. So what will work? You have to use technology to handle the next generation. If I were to summarize of what I want to tell you in the next two, three minutes, and then I will take question. 15 minutes is enough for any topic that I want to take up. So you have to use technology, first of all, so that you can handle the next generation. You should be geared up with a good mutual fund software, mobile application, online application tools, no physical transactions. All of this is very, very important. You should be very transparent about how much commissions you make so that if the next generation asks you why you have chosen a fund which has 1.75% brokerage or 2.75% TER versus an index fund of 0.4%, you should be willing to answer this question and you should prepare your portfolio in such a way that the client should not ask you this question. So clean your business. Uh, when I say clean your business, you should sell funds with lower TER. This is one way to handle the questions of the next generation because the first question they will ask you why is the TR higher for this, 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 this fund? So you start paying attention to TR to handle the next generation. Uh, be professional. Uh, stop being personal all the time. And while being personal, you have to apply professionalism. What it means, send the agenda of the meeting, send, uh, send beautiful portfolio reports, send uh, review notes to the clients with the CC to the next generation whenever they come forward and handle the business. When you meet them, be dressed neatly, no casuals for the next generation to start. You need to understand what they want. And accordingly, you have to change your style because that day is coming for all of you. You are going to stay in this business for 20 years and 30 years and 40 years. And so probably you will deal with the third generation also at some point of time. So get prepared for this. Uh, uh, another point that you have to do is that no vague solution. You cannot confuse the client, next generation. The current clients, you can confuse here and there because they don't give time to the portfolio. They're busy making money somewhere else. And so their, their questions are very small question and they don't go into depth of the questions and the portfolio, but the next generation will do in the entire post-mortem of the things that you are doing. So you cannot give them any vague solution, vague answers that I said, I have done that, I have done that, I have done that, I have done that, why did you not buy this, why did you not buy this, why did you not buy this, why did you not buy this? And you have to provide them solutions. You cannot just say, uh, uh, sell on gut feeling. You have to have a, a good research and understanding why you have sold this fund and not this fund. What is the overlap, stuff like that. So prepare yourself for all these questions, which you have never faced with your current set of clients. Be straight with them. Be straight with them. So let me summarize what I have spoken to you and then I will take your questions. The biggest risk in this business is not market, direct, AMC or regulations. It is the next generation. What will next generation ask you? They will be process oriented. They will be tech savvy. They will be liking a written communications with you. They want value for money. They want more professionalism. They will be more formal with you. And they will ask you direct questions. Current set of clients, kabhi kabhi aapke remuneration ko lekar ke direct questions nahi karte. Sharam aata on ko, kyunki you have, uh, you, have uh, you have grown with them when they start with 10,000 rupees of investment. And so sometimes they are not liking to ask you tough questions, but the next generation will. Uh, the wavelength of the next generation will not match with your wavelength because you are 30, 40, 50, and 60 already, and they are 20. So there's a gap of 15, 20, 25 years, and the wavelength of the next generation will not match the way you want. This is the risk. How to handle? Start early. Say hi in every engagement, whenever you meet them. Understand their preferences and where they have studied and what they want to do in life and what they have been doing and which sport they have been playing. So it's, try to have that personal connect. 25 to 50% will be personal connect and that is your best weapon against 
uh, losing the client for, with the next generation. 50% is professional relationship, 50% personal relationship. Currently, it is 90% personal relationship and 10% professional relationship. It will all change. Uh, finally, the summary, how you handle, you should have fantastic technology, mobile app, online application, everything seamless. No physical uh, engagement. Complete transparency. You should be prepared to answer each question of the client in a transparent manner. No hanky-panky, no fuss, nothing. Be professional in approach. Dress neatly so that you, you, are, you are good. Communication should be very proper. Do not confuse the client. Do not give any vague answer. They will find out the answers themselves. It will take them five minutes to find out what you have told them. I have dealt with the next generation. When I recommend them a scheme, after five minutes, they come back and say, Uncle, money control me, yeah, scheme ka return to bhot poor dikhara, aapne ye return diye. Can I know the reason you are suggesting this scheme? I have faced these questions at least 25 times in the last 10 years. They are very quick. My existing client, the, the current set of client will never ask me these questions. The next set of clients will ask you these questions and you have to be prepared. You cannot sell a company which you like. You cannot sell a fund which you like. They will go with the data, not with your personal assumptions. Uh, and finally, give them solutions and be straight talking to them uh, uh, and answer their questions. This is my bit. Uh, it's not very difficult if you start early and if you understand that this risk is going to come. And uh, I think uh, I think if you uh, if you start thinking about this now uh, now and change your systems and processes, it will help you retain most of the clients. Uh, with that, thank you so much for attending this program. And uh, I will stop the recording. It will be available on YouTube for you to watch in the future. And I will take your questions now.